Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connection Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this video, we are going to be focusing on the workflow for assigning a flange plate moment connection to both a beam to column joint and a beam to girder joint. We will now turn our attention to our sample model in RAM Connections Standalone, where we will start our workflow for designing flange plate moment connections. I'm going to start by selecting joint number three in this model. This is a beam column web joints and it has shear and moment reactions imposed upon it from the beam section. Now the flange plate connection type is a moment connection so it can handle the moment reaction that is being imposed on this joint. It doesn't carry shear forces however so I've already taken the liberty of assigning a shear connection to this joint. Now if I were to take a look at the geometry that would happen when I assign a flange plate moment connection, RAM connection is going to move that beam section outside the basically footprint of the column. Now for that reason, to make sure both my shear and moment connections are compatible with each other, I've gone ahead and applied a single plate connection type for the shear connection and I used an extended end plate so that way my two connection types will be compatible as far as the detailing goes. I'm at the point in my workflow where I'm ready to assign my moment connection to this joint. So to start that process, I'm going to go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Assign icon. Now the flange plate connection is available through both a basic or smart connection workflow. And I'm going to go with the basic connection workflow for this exercise. Here I'm looking for the acronym FP4 Flange Plate. And you can see here I have both a bolted and a welded option. I'm going to try the bolted option and RAM connection has successfully assigned a connection to this joint. Now if I were to take a look in the joint selection area, I would see the status of this connection design. This is indicating the overall status of both connections for the controlling interaction ratio. If you want to ensure that that's what's being displayed here, if you go to the Home tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, you can see that my Critical Load Condition icon is currently active. With that icon active, what I'll see in this Joint Selection area is the Controlling Interaction Ratio, and whichever connection, if you have two connections assigned to the same joint, whichever interaction ratio is higher will be displayed here. Now since my interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and my indicator light is green, I do know that both my shear and my moment reaction are currently passing the code check. Now if I'd like additional information on either of these connection types, I can go to the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Edit icon. When you have two different connections assigned to the same joint, you have the option to modify or review the results independently of each other. So I'm going to select the Moment Connection, which will bring me to the Connection Pad, where I can review the information for my flange plated connection. Now over in the left hand plane, I can see all the connector information that I could customize um, if I needed to. So I can customize the plate thickness for both the top and the bottom flange along with the material. I can change this from a bolted to a welded connection if I would prefer. And for the support side, it's automatically going to be welded, but I can modify the welding electrodes and the size of weld. If I'd like additional information regarding the calculations, I can click on the results icon, which will bring me to the steel connection report. This will display all the geometric consideration results and the design checks that were performed when the connection was assigned. If I would like some additional information, I can click on the view formulas icon to see the formulas and variables that were used in this connection design. Now at this point, I have a passing connection design, so I'm not gonna make any changes. But one last thing I'm going to do before exiting out of the connection pad is take a look at the DXF view, which will show me the detailing basically of this moment connection that I've assigned here. Now I can customize this DXF by changing the font size and the layers, and I can also export 
this DXF to retain for my drawing or detailing purposes. I don't need to save it since I did not make any changes, so I can just exit out of the connection pad. Now that we've reviewed the process for assigning a flange plate moment connection to a beam to column joint, let's also take a look at applying this connection type to a beam girder joint. Now what we're going to notice again is that I already have a shear connection assigned to this joint since this beam is transferring both a shear and a moment reaction to the support girder. So I'm ready to assign my flange plated connection to it. I'm going to go to the Assign icon available in the Design tab of the Ribbon Toolbar. I'm going to go to the Basic Connection option, and I'm going to find my Basic FP options available. This time I'm going to go with a Welded option, and let's go ahead and click Close. So here I can see that the flange plate was applied uh, on the top flange, and then I also have a little plate on the bottom flange. In the joint selection area, I'll be able to see that both the shear and the moment connections are currently passing the code check. And again, if I want some additional information on either of those connections, I can review their information in the connection pad. And again, I do have the option to go from a welded to a bolted connection if I would prefer. At this point, this concludes our process for assigning a flange plate moment connection to both a beam to column joint and a beam to girder joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.